Now let us understand what is a truss. Okay, we define truss as any structure which is consisting primarily of straight members. Okay, and is capable of supporting loads at the joint of these members so let us see what this statement means we are talking about any structure okay so this is any structure okay which is consisting entirely of straight members okay so this is a straight member this is a straight member this is a straight member okay and which is able to support loads at the joints of these members so if this is to be a truss then this structure should be able to support loads at these points okay so such a structure is known as a truss so if i were to support it let's say on a knife edge support okay and on a hinge over here this is what a truss is going to look like okay just analyze a particular member of this truss let us just analyze this member okay by the way just understand that these members could be could be rods could be beams could be anything okay so now we are going to look at a particular member this one okay so let us try to draw the fbd of this particular member so i am going to have this member like this okay there is a force acting on it like this okay due to this particular joint let us call this as a pin joint okay due to this particular joint we are going to have a reaction let us say like this okay now there is also a force acting like this over here okay due to this joint there is going to be a reaction somewhere like this and due to this knife edge support i am going to have a reaction like this okay now if you were to take resultants of all these forces acting at this point you are going to get something like this let me just copy this okay and i'm going to paste it over here i'm taking resultant of all these three forces which are acting at one end of the member so let us say this is that resultant similarly there are two forces acting at the other end of the member i'm going to assume that this is the resultant of these two forces like this okay so over here i have a member which is basically a body which is being acted upon by two forces okay so this is a two force system therefore my forces should be what my forces should be equal opposite and along this axis okay therefore my true fbd of this particular member is going to be something like this okay i am going to have equal opposite forces acting along the axis of this member okay so i'm just going to write over here it is a two force system therefore forces must be equal and opposite okay and act along the axis of this member okay so just realize one thing over here in every member of a truss we are going to have such a scenario okay if you were to look at this member also there are couple of forces acting at this point couple of forces acting at this point there are anyways only two forces so it's going to be something like this something like this and if you draw the fbd of this member it's going to have forces like this okay 